Hello everybody, welcome back to the Max Hamilton Road to the Show series, episode 188. And if you look up at the top right corner, we have 888 career strikeouts, making our way to 1,000. Just thought that was a pretty cool stat. It's been a while since we've had a Max video up. Um, school's kicking my butt and taking up a lot of my time. And um, when I sit down to play video games, I just uh, I play a variety of things. So it's not as much of an obligation right now to play with Max. Uh, but last time out, we bounced back with a great game against the Rays. Max threw nine innings, seven hits, five strikeouts, but a complete game shutout none the least. And uh, gave us our 63rd one of the season. That ended a uh, bad streak as of late for our guys. We're six and a half back. I don't think we're close in the wild card. I think we're two and a half, which is close, I guess. One and a half, okay. So, we're competing for a wild card, because I don't think we're going to catch the Yankees. I think they've got it. And uh, the Red Sox are even coming back. But we've got to step out in front and uh, take a wild card game, because I know Max can win that game. Anyways, let's hope we can get the Series 1 against Tampa Bay, and then uh, we pitch against Chicago on August 18th. We've got... Uh, three or four more starts in August. This one, two, three. We have three more. Um, so we'll have Chicago, New York, and then Oakland. And then that'll do it for the month of August. September It's a little shortened, and we have more off days, but that's it. Um, and then our season's over if we, hopefully we make the playoffs by then. But we have Chicago today, who is 65 and 55. We used to play them a lot. And just by the way, this is the team we struggled against the most by far when we were over in the NL Central. Seven games, 0-1, 4-7-6 ERA, 16 strikeouts in 22 and a two-thirds innings. Yeah, not, not great numbers against this team. Let's check out that lineup of theirs. Mauricio Calderon, Cesar Hernandez. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Cedric Mullins is an 81. Adalberto Mondesi, and they acquired Goldschmidt. And Jorge Alfaro. So, this is a very good lineup that, uh, if I remember correctly, yeah, really likes to hit lefties hard. Mauricio Calderon is 26. Okay. I forget. Isn't he a former rookie of the year in this sim? I believe he is. What does their rotation look like just to see? Nola, Nola Eunice, Robbie Ray, Julio Tehran, and Justice Sheffield. And Justice is awful. But Nola's been great. Their pin is under average. But whatever works, man. 65 and 55, and they are... Ooh, five games back in the Central, and two and a half in the wild card. So this is a pretty important game to them, too. Everything is from here on out for both teams. But uh, here are our gains, because it's been a while. And let's go ahead and get into this. Two wins in a row versus Tampa Bay. There's our velocity. I think that's what I'm going to go with. Or we could keep working caps with that, but I don't think we need to right now. Uh, clutch. Nope. Two seam velocity. We go three and one in the time we missed. So this is for the series here. And a former rivalry. I don't think we're going to mess with it. We need to get better with Kenyon Middleton. Get him to a friendly status. Nicely done. And here we are. Julio Tehran will be on the mound for them. Hopefully we can hit him hard. That's our lineup on the right. That's theirs on the left. Theirs looks extremely similar. I think it's the exact same as what we looked at. Uh, but Tyler Wade leads us off. Frazier at second. Hoskins, Gritchick, Bodie, hard of the lineup. McKinney, Paul, Reese, McGuire, and Luke Maley. Uh, McGuire will be catching us. We'll be wearing red today against the Blue Chicago Cubs. And we'll be looking for our 15th win. Without further ado, let's get into it. Max with everybody. But David Bodie. And uh, I guess that's not a big deal. We still get our max boosts. But 
We'll get that Bodie friendship up there soon. We're 66 and 59. This team's 66 and 57, so they're one full game better than us. Let's go. We're winding down here on the MLB pregame show as we count down to the final game of this three-game set. But before we take you to the action, the latest installment of the Topps Player Spotlight. Max Hamilton has people around the game buzzing. He took home the AL Cy Young Award last year, and we can see him there receiving the award from his manager just a few moments ago. Well, the secret's out on this guy, d -Row. He is not only lights out. This guy can get it done. Pitches deep into games. He can eat up innings, and more importantly, his stuff is elite. I agree, Dan. He shut down the league all season long. I'm interested to see if he builds on last year's Cy Young award-winning season and gets off to another hot start. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Toronto Blue Jays. Two postseason hopefuls in the National League go head to head in a potential wild card preview. Next. Max Hamilton gets the starting assignment in this one. All right, here we go. James. Our 26th start of the year. Hey, give him exactly 100 hits, 13 walks, 240 bigger. strikeouts. This will ERA. also push us over the edge of 200 innings on the season. On the season. He's been nearly so here we go. To this point. And we should Let's have go, a Calderon. Watching this guy do what he does on the mound today in this one. Right Set the pace for a good game here batter. with our first pitch. Mauricio and Calderon strike one. He's at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. And Dan D. Rowe, the Blue Jays, as they enter play. So we're a half game back in the wild card now. This would tie us up. Including a win last time out. Hey, but we're still hey, you know six what, and a half back on the Yanks. Kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the We've been first chasing them for a while, and they're and starting to pull away. This, this is what the circle changed. Yeah, yeah, Maurice just kind of missed the ball. Loss off in the first game of the series and had a nice bounce back game yesterday. Let's see Splitter. if they can steal the series right here. Way out in front, yeah, and we've got a one-two. Just a perfect day. 80 degrees here. 80 degrees under the sky. Toronto must feel great. early on that one so we're gonna go sweeping curve that shot and, short stop and there's Tyler no waited short one down he crushed that ball we left it hanging a little bit not what you want to do in that situation but you know that's what we did now in the box Cesar Hernandez wasn't awful was he was just over the middle of the plate it has not been going his way of late yeah. And he gets ahead here and with he the does not get the call line. here. And set up behind Oof. the dish is Eric oh, Summersgill as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. You know what, Dan? I'm always baffled when Eric Summersgill's oh. behind the dish because he has a tendency one, one. to favor one side of the plate. You know, that's one of the things I think pitchers get a little bit gonna frustrated with the e here. The time. It's like, hey, if you're going to give me that outside, you want to give it to me, but it don't keep moving go. the dish around on me all game. No, oh, good play, Reese McGuire. Two down. Just got him. Here's Chris now he Bryant faced now. the lefty crushing Chris Bryant. In the series, 0 for 7. Now he fouls swing, that one off. Just fouls this one away. Not sure that was the right call with the cutter. I just kind of threw it. And Do we miss inside? 1-1. One, one. And now we got two. Fastball outside. And it's fouled away. Just got a piece of it. It's early on that one too, so. Here he comes on a Attack ball same zone sweeping curve. No. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Not Good this time we won't get him chasing. Two breaking ball, put himself right back in two, two. Hit down the He's on the ground to Bodie. Play is made, throw, throw gets the third time, baseman. And it's a one, two, three inning to start the day. Now the let's go, Maxi. No score. Keep it up, brother. And let's get some runs on the board, Toronto. Three up, three down against Tehran. And we move on. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. So, what I'm hoping to do is finish up the season with Max and Adam. The wind uh, they're up near the same point. One. I think Max is a 
good, a little bit in front, a month and a half, I think. But finish up that. That was a bad pitch, by the way. We're lucky he was early. We'll go even slower. This is lined that left. shot in the left. And, and it'll get down for a leadoff single. For the Cubs. But the plan is to finish this well, you know season, what? which is season good six, good with Max, reason, and then uh, and in there on an finish pitch season seven. Then that will lead us into MLB 21. So I'm pretty excited for that game. Gonna try to line it up. If it doesn't line up perfectly, it's okay. But gonna at least try. And that's strike three. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Problem with Young Award discussions. Adam is point, that he is behind Max, and he plays in the playoffs more often. And send him He's definitely making it this year. So now to the plate. But you so never know moves. injuries Standing and all that stuff can right affect stuff. Adam is in season five of his now career, so he'll finish season six by and the time we're done. This one off. Oh, and Fastball. Two, here it is. Missed up and in. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You Cedric gotta be Mullins will tip that circle change. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Curveball. Tough curve fouled off. Time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. It's late on it. We can go fastball. Look out! That one almost got in. away from him. Two and two now. That's a classic piece of pitching. Backdoor right cutter there. action. He's going. Away from the plate I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. All right. I like that purpose pitch. I shouldn't have called him off there, but I did. Two, two down. Stepping in, Adalberto Mondesi. Adalberto Mondesi will step up to the plate. We're consistently above ninety now, and that feels really good. Goes again. Throw down. He lost the ball, and the runner will get to second. Definitely could have got him. Good play, Bodie. Throw to get the speedy shortstop, and that'll do it. 3-2 for Max, and one hit given up. See what the heart of our order can do. 4-5-6, do up. And base is loaded. We do score one. Okay. And that brings up Paul. That's what we needed. The aging, but still good. Paul Goldschmidt steps up. A ball and no strikes. Here we go, guys. Let's go. That he That is fell off. And in the chance that would be tragic. That MLB 21 does not carry over um, onto the PS5, or let me put this better, Road to the Shows that you have previously played does not carry over to the next game on the PS5. In that event, we will have the um, vote at that point of continue... Max and uh, Adam on the PS4, the which I'd rather not do if, at that time if I have PS5, but we'll see then. Um, the two, two, and, one more or sim their careers. Is a swing and, a miss, and then a strike three. that would include Cam, I guess, too. Sim their careers, well, have that as a final episode, and then start a new, brand new Road to the Show this season. And as you can on see there. Uh, on the new console. For the AL lead. Sends but we'll see. Out of play for strike one. PS5 months away. Up. November something. I don't know if I'll have it on launch day, but That's in it there. wouldn't change Andy's any of my content now. anyway. Is of course well, I guess it would change 2K because I would really like to put 2K to on. The game the did I already use a... Glove work, but with the arm as well. I did He's use a... Cannon, and it's in the head of a showtime. Base runners every I night. usually never use it early in the game. I'm just not thinking too much squad. into it. Oh, yeah, two. He certainly could have a C on his and chest. down goes Alfaro. Two down. The pitching staff, and our third strike out of the day. I can't say enough about this player. 
So he sets him down swinging. Jorge Alfaro is out number two here in the third now inning. Matter. Into Wait, the box, Mauricio Wait, Calderon. He swings Calderon. and hits it foul off to the right and out foul of play. Ball. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Lifted in the air toward Man, the line. That is right. also late. Uh, this is 85 miles per hour on that splitter. Chance to oh, very early. Chance to strike out Calderon. And we got him. No mind the bad pulse is too good of a pitch anyway. Fourth strikeout for Max through three. And we still lead 1-0. Welcome back as the Blue Jays look to get their bats going no in the third inning. And you can say they've been trying to do that pretty much. We do score one more. Let's go. Riding in once again, Cesar Hernandez. As we begin the top of the fourth. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. Strike down by a couple of runs. But it's going really for 20 wins this, this season, it's going to be tough. And get a big inning if we can pull this one out, it would be 15. Right down the middle good with pitch the there. Up, but not what he was looking not for. Not a good pitch, but for a strike. That's throws a like Cesar. Splitter. Got him. Two like over the middle sure of the zone. Like one of them he watched, one of them he swung it. through. So Five strikeouts on the day for Max. The splitter gets him this time. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. As the fastball strike is swung one. out and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. Now, oh, 01. Outside for a ball, one and one. Oh, two. No runs, just oh, one, one. one hit. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Swing. Bryant gets a hold of inside cutter. It's deep left. But Paul on the edge of the warning track will track it down. We've got two down. A little scary moment there. Not even a bad pitch. That one was a little more over the zone. Yeah, that ball's gone. But for now, we're lucky. Super late. See if we can go cutter. Cut fastball above the letters of ball. It goes too high. Hey, a two out walk right here would be the one one splitter. Even though it's early on, down and in. Got a guy on deck that has a lot of power. more over the plate than I want. One and two now is that one's fouled off. He's early. Just one hit. Backdoor sweeping curve possibly could work here. Yes, it will. Doesn't come back over the plate, but half was fooled regardless. Through four, still up two zero. And Max is feeling it versus his former rivals. Let's go, boys. An error, and we actually put one more on the board. It's 3 0. So we face the five hitter for the Cubs, Anthony Rizzo. Strike one. Rizzo, 1474 on the career hits. By the end of the year, he should have 1,500. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. That's on the ground. Good play. And one day, or one down, is so Luke Maley. Exceptional effort for play. him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL. Cedric Mullen steps up. Cedric Mullins strikes one. Next as he finds himself behind 0-1. You have to understand as the hitter right here, pitcher on the mound wants a quick inning. Anything over the nope. heart of the plate, one, probably got to pull the trigger on. A ball and a strike now. Try to bunt That's on the ground and foul. Wasn't but a good a bunt anyway, ball. so. One and two hey, the count now. Going to go cutter. Got a piece of it. All right. What was his timing on that late? Bases are empty. One man out. Yeah, I might be able to go fastball even higher and get him to go through it. Got him looking. No, we just freeze him with the fastball instead. To it, two gone. Seven man, strikeouts. Today, that ball moves so well. Strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And it hits the perfect spot. No walks up to this point. So he's strikeout number so seven today. Now, and he's making these hitters yeah. swing the bat. In now. So we're well over 90 on, on the strikeout. Got to keep track of that as we approach 1,000 strikeouts. Holy cow. 
Runs up and gets this one down. Good bunt. It's but foul. This will be a foul ball as he's behind Owen. Scared me a little bit. Go splitter. See if we can get him to ch to chase. And he'll try and tip him with one third, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Get him to buy on the circle Don't change. He does. Time, but he's able to make contact, and he'll get another it's chance. Fouled off. He's late. Blow by him, maybe. I don't know. And, he and we get him. Two strikeouts game, this inning, or three strikeouts game. this inning. Three up, three down Eight down strikeouts on the game, and Max has three his strikeout three. stuff working today. We lead three nothing as we go into the bottom of the fifth. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. All right, Paul. Now. We'll start things out in a little over halfway the through this game. Shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. And that is strike one. Oh, they've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. So I mean, a little over five. The pitching they faced or halfway oh, through this game. Fantastic. We'll we see lead 3-0. As we approach the later inning, we pray we can hold that. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and one. Well, that really just comes down to Max here. So two one. Keep Goldschmidt on base. Down the line toward third. Goldschmidt runs well. And what a play by Max first, Hamilton! That's a tough play. Holy cow! Now All right, let's take another look. All right, so. Simple pitch. Goldschmidt doesn't get a good piece. It's grounded. He moves and makes an incredibly tough throw. So fields it here, turns while moving that way, slings it across his body. I don't know where the ball is. All the way to Melee. Oh my gosh, we barely got him. Good call though, and we will take that for our first out of the inning. First pitch of the at bat. Jorge Alfaro steps up and, a strike to and watches the a strike Nothing right down the middle. And they should probably start swinging the bat if they want to hit the ball. 92. Wow, that so was an early. Right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's Definitely it could get him to bite guy. here. Out in front he of that one, may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. May have been looking fastball. No dirt. He was Trying looking to send fastball. Him for the second time. It's and quite clear to me he's looking fastball. 84 nine miles per hour. Nine strikeouts. Great splitter. A really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in Let's a series go. up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Into the box now, Mauricio Calderon. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Oh, one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. See his timing on the circle change, and that will determine our third pitch. He's late. So that means cutter. Running inside. But it caught too much zone, and that means it's going to be a fly ball out to right. Hoskins has it. And through six, the Cubs are still scoreless and still down three. So we're doing our job. Offense is doing theirs. Maybe one or two more runs just for safety. Just for safety? No. Not that inning, at least. New inning set to get underway, and that'll give way to the we'll just go for the simple one of get one strikeout. That's the most likely of the three. Moving late into this one, a perfect time for this leadoff guy. Tough play. Same play. Got him again. Nice play for the out. So he still got his shot wow. working here in the seventh, and with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. So you nice see you there, see it he twice. Leads the AL in that department. Into the box now. Max Chris Hamilton, Ryan. ladies no and gentlemen. To this point. First pitch coming. Here working on his fielding today. What is that? Two incredible plays and even a pop-up caught. 
Into the wind -up. Here comes Most of the, the time, the only action we get is a ball hit right up the middle to us. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right and, uh, here as a pitcher. We just toss really it like on to over to first. Off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Maybe a little jumpy right, there as he swings through the fastball. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. With Brian at the plate, I don't want to mess with them. Right back Sweeping curve. Ten strikeouts? No. Still one and two as he fouls Not yet. Away. One out, nobody on. Splitter. And, and another off. foul ball. Another that one is fouled off. How do we want to deal with this? Because once again one, early, that's pitch. not a good pulse. Don't hang it. That Swing is not hung, but it is down the line into a shift. And that line means first, a double for Chris Bryant. With one out here and in the seventh. He in at second base with a one out uh, double. Mm. Well, the pitcher can't really worry about that. The sweeping I mean, curve out of any of the pitches the today game, so has been the one that works the least. That's a really right. good pitch, Let's though. See if he can leave him out there now. That is right over the middle of the plate. One gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. We've been pretty full on confidence in everything but that pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. Cutter inside. O two count. You can do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a so pitcher. change, and we get him, him to look so right at it. Now, ten ten strikeouts, strikeouts for Max. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Oh, Those man. Are the times you That's really just want to filthy. See battle and at least put the ball in play. The first base. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo. But Rizzo! Deep center field. Deep center field. And, and he got all of it. Goodbye, run. baseball. And, and it's a one-run game here in Toronto. A two -run shot up the Didn't get it inside Rizzo. enough, I well, guess. 428 out to center. And the Cubs game. have came back. Right there as he circles the pillows. They brought Finally this back to a one-run game. Potentially going with one swing of the bat, being shut out we will game, get to finish this inning but i believe that'll be it for us so we'll use our show time and with it this will jam him if anything he's not turning on it straight two and of course we'll go here sweeping curve Mullins down on strikes, strike but the two-run shot game, and this one ends brings this to a so one-run game. Runs on two hits, no errors, Gotta put more runs on the board here, forward. Toronto, we'll just to stay seven. safe, hopefully. That's it for Max's day, I believe. And we do not, and oh, it is not it for our day. Ready once again. We get to throw Mondesio. here in the eighth versus the seven, eight, nine contest. hitters. Just got a piece of it as it's Very back. tight Looking leash, though. Totals, got to be careful. Holding on to a batting average Did use every bit of our showtime. Not a good you know, pulse. Maddie, I know his career batting average yeah. miss outside. Age, but this guy can help a roster in a lot of different ways. He brings value to the manager on a daily basis. Just on that the one outside misses. that time, laid off for a ball. Where's that first now? 2 1. He'll try to bunt his way on as that he gets ball this one is down. Nice to dive. <laughs> foul ball. Two and two. Two two. Don't want to let Mondesi on. I gotta go and do it. Showtime splitter. Still it off. Our last showtime doesn't work. Keep it going. Another How about try a two sweeping two. curve? Mondesi once again gets a piece. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Going cutter. Tried to get Ooh, him with the 93, cutter, and he just watches it. 
do not want to lose him. Mondesi way too fast to let on. And he strikes out on a 91 mile per hour fastball. Way out in front of it. We will take that for our 12th strikeout of the day. We've got a loss battle. We have not seen one of these in a long time. Paul Goldschmidt will be that boss battle. Not the type of boss battle I'm acquainted to normally. I think of a boss battle. Not in a video game. Throw every pitch outside the zone to record now. Not going to happen, but we'll try it. Or we're first not even going to try it. We're it just going to throw it into the zone. Down the first baseline. And, well, we and actually completed it. <laughs> Alright, we'll take the reward then. Okay, we don't get a reward. We will go two outs to Alfaro. He missed it with him. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Report an out. Tying run at the plate. The He's early on. We're gonna go cutter in. Nope. Ball one. Nope. One zero. Oh. Right, logic didn't make sense, but we missed anyway. One one. Alfaro pops it out to center. McKinney's Billy McKinney there is there. And, and that will do it the for side. the eighth. Okay. Well, that three surely three is Max's day. Still a three, three up, three down. Man. We're still up one. We will watch this game um, for the at least when we get taken out. Oh shoot, we didn't get taken out. Into the box. We get to pitch, boys. And at this point of the game, we get to go for a two earned run. The top of the order has Complete game shut out on the ground. David Bodie, nice play, one down. All right, good start to the inning. You know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they and there it is. They will take us out. They don't want the lefty on lefty matchup. Here comes a Toronto skipper out and, toward the uh, They'll bring PJ or the lefty to face Bryant and who else is it? I don't know, but I get the decision to keep Max in. And I understand bringing PJ in here. Let's go, PJ. We'll watch you finish this one. Well, it's Cesar Hernandez, who's a switch hitter. That's on the ground, and Bodie's busy over there at third. Two down. All right, one more, baby. Into the box, Chris Bryant. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And that and this is, is strike one. Miss. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Swing. And that's the game, boys. Let's go. That's a series win and a much needed one. And we tied up, baby. We are in the wild card now at this point in the season. Our 15th win of the season is a good one. Eight and a third, giving up two earned, but we will take it. For the league best 15th time, striking out 12 in the process. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. Yes, sir. Make your way over to the show Julio Tehran will get the loss. Five innings pitched, three on runs. The bullpen for them did phenomenal. McNeil will get the save with two thirds of an innings pitch, of an inning pitch, and one strikeout. We get the win with eight and a third, three hits. Two earned. That two run shot for Rizzo is why. But 12 strikeouts today. Crazy. Crazy numbers. Anyways, very well done by Max. And we will take that every day of the week. As we look to make the playoffs, that's really all we want. Got clutch. Splitter break. 72. Hmm. Uh, that that's nice to see go up, and it's because 15 wins, stamina, and caper nine. Where's caper nine? That's making its way to 97 now. Nicely done. Love to see that. Next game we have the New York Yankees. We are six back on them. I don't expect to catch them, but facing St. Louis, then New York, then Kansas City, then Oakland. Until, yeah, we have four straight series of winning records. 
And with Chicago before that, that's five. So it's not going to be an easy run for us here, but at least we have Detroit, Tampa Bay, then Baltimore after that. New York, then Philly, New York, Boston, Cleveland. All right, so September's easy, but this month is hard. <laughs> I guess is the best way to describe it, especially the end of this month. Anyways, we'll call it an episode here. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that's Max Hamilton, episode 188 in the books.